Hi, and thanks for joining me. I'm about to change my water pump. I've noted recently that it's cutting in much later than it should, and likewise it's cutting out much later, and the water pressure hasn't been quite as it should be. Now my pump is actually underneath the sink. It's in the cupboard, but it's underneath the floor in the cupboard, as it were. <laughs> So it's not something that's easily accessible. So I need to empty out the cupboard to get access to it. Hi, and thanks for joining me. But this is what I've bought. It's a Jabsco pump. This is a replacement, an identical replacement for the one I'm about to take out. The pump itself has now been superseded by another model, but old stock is still available. So that is what I've managed to, to buy. So I'm gonna crack on now. Working space is going to be very tight so I may not be able to show you every little uh, thing I do, but you'll certainly understand what it is I'm up to and how I go about the task. I'm going to start by emptying out this cupboard. So this is the pump here. It is bolted down to the subfloor. You can see that it's been leaking on this side. There's a bit of a trowel there. And it's also damp just here. What I'm going to do now is turn off the electric supply to the pump and turn the water off at the stopcock, which is right at the front of the boat in the cupboard, actually underneath the floor in the cupboard. It's rather awkward to get to, as you will see. <laughs> So I need to move out the settee and a few other things. So it's going to be easier for me to do that when I'm not filming. So I'm going to do that now. This is the stopcock from the integral water tank, which is built into the bow of the boat. And now I'm turning off the electrical supply to the pump. I think I'm looking a bit red in the face. That's because I've got the stove on, <laughs> the fire. <laughs> um, it was meant to be a very cold morning, but it's not as cold as they predicted. So I've opened some windows to, to cool me down. I've taken this out of the, the box now. This is what the pump actually looks like. There are two wire connectors. Uh, I think this is the inlet side. And this is the outlet side. It has fittings that go in here. You get, a, you get a choice of fittings and that slides over to secure them in place. I'll just pop that down for a moment. The fittings are, oh, these bags are sealed. The fittings are push-in fittings like this, which you then thread to. Or there's this other style of fitting, which also pushes in, but you fix your pipe straight to this part. I'm going to have the filter. I bought a new filter, so I'll be putting a new filter on. That will connect to the, <laughs> to the pump. You'll see when it's all done. I did just do a cheat in that I switched the pump back on. I wanted to make sure that the water was off. It sort of backfired on me. I'm pretty confident the stopcock is in the fully off position. I can't seem to move it anymore. But once the pump started running, it didn't want to stop. So I had to turn it off again by the electric. So I do want to crack on very quickly because when I start this job, some water is going to leak out. I've done my best to stop that from happening, but it is unavoidable and you never know quite what's going on. So. It's going to be difficult for me to film in that confined space. I will also be fitting in a new stop tap. So I'm quite pleased about that. That will go in the blue pipe 
I'll probably put a new bit of pipe in, but that will go in between so that I can actually turn the water off from under the sink. That will be much better than the rigmarole of going to the front of the boat and having to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to crack on now. I'll film as best I can, but I'm not promising. <laughs> So this is the part I was trying to show you in the pack. It pushes into here and then you slide this in to lock it. So I'm going to see how easily that goes in. Well, very easily. Very easily indeed. You, pull, you slide this out, put that in there and push it in and lock it and that's that's able to turn wow <laughs> and that's as simple as that so the next thing to do is to screw the filter onto the pump tighten that up in a moment. I'm going to place a mirror behind the pump so that I can look into it and see the reflection of where the screws are that are mounting it to the floor because at the moment they're hidden from the side that I'm approaching so I'm going to put this mirror behind the pump so I can look forward as it were. <laughs> Locating those screw heads is a lot more difficult than I made it look and only two of the screws are being used. There are four holes to mount the pump but because it's tucked underneath the floor I can only get to two of these screw points so I've loosened those. I have decided it would be a good idea using the hose and this to make this section up now before I dismantle anything. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is what I've made up. This is going to replace the blue pipe that's already there. So I'll mount it in that way as it were. So when it's in that position, the water can flow. And when it's in that position, the water will be off, hopefully. <laughs> so I've realized that if I do this part first, it will stop the water flowing if there is any leaking through. I'm sure there will be some leakage of water, but the quicker I can get this on, the quicker I will stop any problems. So I've made this up to go here. That will replace the existing blue pipe. I'm pouring the water from the little tub into the jug on the right this is now done well i've fitted the new stop tap what i'm now going to do is i'm going to dry the area around it i'm going to use kitchen paper and a hair dryer that should dry it off pretty quickly then i'm going to open the stop cock at the front of the boat if the wood gets wet then obviously it's leaking I know that when I deal with the pump side of things there'll be some more water but in the meanwhile it will be a good test to know that where I fitted the stop tap myself that it is working. I've just dried the area and I found a leak, at least I think it's a leak, it could just be a globule of water that was on the pipework I was dealing with, but I don't think so. This is where for me things get very difficult, working in a confined space and making sure it's 100% is not easy. This job is getting a little fraught. I actually had two leaks, 
where I'd fitted in the, the new stop tap. The reason for one of the leaks I've discovered, you've got the tail coming out of the stop tap and then you've got the part you're pushing the hose on on the other fitting and the two together were longer than the hose section that I cut. So the section of hose I cut was too short and these two were clashing. So I couldn't get the hose on properly. So I've redone that with a longer hose. I've dried it off again. That joint seems to be secure. When the stop tap isn't on it, water is still dripping out. I don't know if that's just residual water that is in the pipe. It runs about 25 feet down the boat or whether the stop cock for the water tank isn't off properly. What I've just done is I've just fashioned a bung. It's what every household needs is bungs of all different sizes and without holes in. These are absolutely so useful to have a bung, but um, I've made this up from, um, from this. This is a bottle top from a, from a bottle of gin, I think. <laughs> but uh, I'm now going to take off what I've just done and bung this in and recut the, the, um, the blue pipe. It's not going well, I'm afraid. What I've actually decided to do is take out the old pump and fit the new. There's nothing to stop me from doing that. Then I think I'll be a bit more relaxed because it will just be the last part of the job to fit in the, the new stop tap. So that's what I'm going to do now. Well, that's the pump actually disconnected. I should be able to take that out now. Well this is the old pump, it's out, it's this connection here that I'll need to do last where I've put the new stop tap in. Some water came out of this, I don't want to play with it too much in case water spills all over the boat so I'm just going to put this out the back, I'll catch up with you in a moment. This connection is designed to be watertight and should only be screwed up with the fingers. So again, I'll dry this area off and see how we're going. Things aren't going too well. You can see it's getting dark. The boat is in a terrible mess. I haven't got good lighting, so I'm just going to crack on. But I just want to show you this. This is the old pipe. This is quite thick. And this is the new pipe. Very, very different. I bought this from the Chandlers. It's just not very um, strong, but maybe this is too strong because it doesn't flex enough. But I'm just going to crack on now and I'll let you know when I'm done. <laughs> Oh, the other problem, of course, is that that, I think, is just too loose. So whether it's right or wrong, I'm going to put some PTFE tape around here. And then, of course, the Jubilee clip will go on here as well. So but it was at this point, I think, on one of them, on one end, that it was leaking. I'm just going to crack on. Sorry about that, but I must get it done. Need to put the Jubilee clip on. I think I might just add a little bit more on here first. I've now got it all connected again. I need to dry off the area and see if there are any leaks whilst there's no pressure coming through it. And hopefully there won't be. I think this time I might have got it. <laughs> so I'm going to dry off the area now and we'll take a look a little bit later.
Well, as you can see, it's still leaking, but I remade the joints and got there in the end, thankfully. That was rather a fraught day for me yesterday. What should have been a straightforward pump swap over <laughs> turned into something quite different. In fact, changing the pump is fairly straightforward. Theoretically, it's just two connections. Unscrew the pump, unscrew the wires, and then two water pipe connections. But I complicated it by adding in the stop tap. By doing that, I had to make two more joints. But the reality was I had to make four additional <laughs> watertight joints. And plumbing isn't my forte, unfortunately. So I think that was my <laughs> that was my issue. At the end of the day, it was just a question of using a lot of PTFE tape. And for those of you that have used that tape, it's a white tape. I should have got some with me, shouldn't I? It's a very thin white tape that you wrap around plumbing joints, basically, and it helps keep them watertight. And I had to use a heck of a lot to make the joints watertight. But I did get there in the end. The job is uh, proved successful. There are no leaks at the moment. The pressure had been getting very low. This morning I had a wonderful shower. <laughs> the pressure was fantastic. Not only that, when you switch a tap on now, the water runs out straight away. It got to the state with the cold tap, where you switch the tap on, it would sort of drip and then the water would come out. And with the hot tap, it was spurting a bit. All that seems to have been resolved, which is, which is wonderful. So hopefully I've resolved that for a few more years. <laughs> There's always something to do on the boat. As many people say, boat stands for bring out another thousand. But you have expenses in the home environment. If you're living on land in a flat or a house or whatever it is, you've still got the same sort of expenses, got the same sort of services. So nothing really unusual. I think you've just got to accept that um, boats are a little bit different. But cost wise, is there really a difference? I don't know. I don't, I don't think there is myself. I started about lunchtime and it was dark when I finished. And I think there must have been a period of several hours where I wasn't actually filming. What I needed, I've, I made up a bung to put in the pipe because water was still seeping out from the pipe that runs down from the tank. Even though the stopcock there was turned off, there was enough water in the pipe to keep it sort of siphoning out, which was a bit of a nuisance. And I made up a bung, which I later dropped and lost. But I got there, and I think that's the main thing. I'm not a brilliant plumber. If I'm capable of doing a job, I will get on and do it. If I don't think I'm capable, I'll just get someone else in to do it. It just depends on the nature of the job, but this theoretically was a straightforward job. Let me show you the, uh, the old pump. This, this is the old pump. I never really got the time to show you the new pump as fully as I wanted to. So this is the filter. You can see this is discoloured and also I can see where the, the gauze within the filter is beginning to get a little bit blocked up. Oops, water's still coming out of it. <laughs> <Look>. <laughs> Hadn't realised that. So it's just two, two connections, two wire connections in there and in there. So really all I needed to do was, was these two connections. But by putting in the stop tap, <laughs> it meant I had to make four new watertight connections. And that's where I'm not very good. But I got there. I'm very pleased to say it's been fine overnight. If it was going to leak, it would leak straight away. But I'm still a bit fearful. I keep checking it. But uh, it's been fine overnight. I've showered, done various things with the water, and it's absolutely fine. So I don't know if I can show you any better with these. These these pull out and this this pulls out of oops. So if you've got these fittings with the thread on, it just pushes into pushes into there 
and that pushes down on it and locks it in place. You wouldn't think it would be watertight, would you? <laughs> but it is. <laughs> it's on rubber feet. Because this is tucked in behind the, the floor, as it were, I can't actually get the screws on here, but I've got the two screws in here. It's on rubber feet to help stop vibrating, but it is mounted there. It is a bit loose. I'm going to leave it and see how it goes. It seems to be pretty steady. So that's what I've replaced. This is actually, um, this is model 31395-0292. I got an identical replacement. There is a newer model out now to replace this one. But that is the water pump that sends the water to the sink taps, the basin taps and shower. <laughs> On my boat anyway. <laughs> So I will now say many thanks for watching. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Take the utmost care. Until next time, well I should actually say if you haven't yet subscribed please do so and give me a like now and again. So until next time, bye for now.